Welcome, my fellow agents. I am Agent Malta Chang, Master of Disguise, and today I wanted to talk to you about the uh, business and the website Beautiful Halo. For those of you who don't know, Beautiful Halo is a company that sells and distributes uh, certain articles of clothing. Um, you may have seen advertisements for Beautiful Halo on uh, meme compilations or something like that. And, um,. Yeah, uh, hoodies that look uh, sort of like what you see here on screen. Uh, but today, I, I, I'm come, I've am I'm come to talk to you about something uh, that I don't usually talk about, but this shit kind of pissed me off. Like, and, it, <laughs> and it's not usual that something pisses me off enough to where I have to make a video about it, but I, I feel like I need to expose these people or this company because, man, it's not good. Let me tell you. So on this website, I attempted to purchase a uh, knight hoodie or um, a hoodie that looked like, you know, knight's armor um, because I wanted, you know, I'm a little bit of a memer myself. I like to wear uh, goofy, quirky things because I'm a, a goofy, quirky guy. But um, yeah, I, I wanted this hoodie because it looked cool. And um, upon seeing the advertisements, on the uh, the meme compilations and stuff, I decided, you know what, uh, I'm gonna go to the website and I'm gonna uh, purchase this thing just for myself, you know, little little gris Christmas gift just for me. So, I um, I purchased the hoodie from their website on a uh, December 18th, and uh, I can show you the um, a screenshot here that I have of it. Thank you for your order. They, you know, they email me. Thank you for your order. As you can see, they're at the top, December eighteenth, twenty twenty. Um, you know, they, uh, and then um, yeah, here, as you can see here, it cost me a, a pretty not not too much, but a pretty hefty price for a simple hoodie, uh, f uh over forty dollars after taxes, forty four dollars and ninety one cents, almost forty five dollars, and um. I waited, I waited uh, like all, over two months for my package to get to me. That's one thing. That's just, that's just the first thing. I ended up receiving my package on February 9th. Okay. February 9th is when I received my package. That is 53 days after ordering, despite them saying that I would receive my package within 10 to 15 days you know i mean shit 53 is a little uh, above 10 to 15 days but uh, you know uh, i mean <laughs> i mean i, I mean you know, what's the difference really the days i'll just blend together um i put in a support ticket that i had not received my orders on that i had not received my order on january 13th 2021 I put in a support ticket. Uh, I wrote to them, as you can see here, uh, support ticket, subject, I have not received order. Uh, and I put in the information, uh, I have not yet received my hoodie. I ordered it last month. My address is, and I blurted out there so you can't stalk me. Um, I put my address. I said, if there's a chance that I could receive this product soon, I would be very grateful. And then, you know, they put my contact information there. Uh, they, they write back to me. Dear customer, your order was sent and is still on the way. Please kindly wait. Tracking number, information, yada, yada, yada. So, um, keep in mind, January 13th, uh, after ordering it um, the 28th, or not the 28th, the 18th of December, January 13th. So, at this point, I had been waiting, like, almost a whole month for it, and... After waiting almost a whole month, I think you should expect your package to at least be there. So, so for them to tell me, yeah, bro, just fucking wait, was kind of like a kick in the dick. And it sort of pissed me off at first. But then, like, I then at keep in mind, I ended up waiting almost, almost another whole fucking month just for my package to get to me. Um... So, at this point, 
I was pissed off. But it only gets worse from here, folks. So, if you notice on the hoodie, on the head here, uh, it has these two button or not two buttons. It has this button, you know, or well, actually, a button on each side of the head, uh, to which you can uh, button the visors to. So you know, you can put the visors on your hoodie. Um, they even this is even the picture they show on their website, as you can see here. That's the picture they advertise. Um, so tell me the fuck why, when my hoodie came in, it came in without the fucking buttons to put on the goddamn visors. Um, upon noticing this, I very much confused, and that confusion sort of leading to anger, uh, decided to put in another support ticket. And uh, as you can see here, the support ticket reads, uh, I have received a defective item. This is on February 10th. Um, it's okay. It says February 10th. I received the item on February 9th. But for some reason, when I put in a support ticket, for some reason it said for them that it was February 10th. I don't know if they're fucking like in China or something and they're like a day ahead or whatever the fuck. But anyway, I put in that support ticket. And uh, I, I write, uh, I've received a defective item, and I write, uh, I the hoodie that I ordered was supposed to come with two buttons on the side to add the visor on. As you can see here, there are no buttons. Now, the photos that I just uh, showed you, I, I sent those photos as an attachment to the support ticket. Uh, and it w I just thought that, you know, they'd be able to see the photos and it would work. So, keep this in mind for later. As you can see here, there are no buttons. Considering I waited almost two months for this item to reach me, I at least expected said item to come with all parts shown. I cannot put into words how frustrating this is, and considering I don't want to wait another two months for a new product, I'm just going to leave it here and take my business elsewhere. Some business advice for the future. If you're going to make someone wait this long for a product they paid over $40 for, Make sure that the product is exactly what they ordered. You all should be ashamed. Contact information, all that shit, right? Uh, they write back, Dear customer, could you please send us a photo to confirm the problem? After confirmation, we would help you handle it. Now, keep in mind, like I said, I had already sent in photos. The photos that I showed you. I sent those photos in. And I thought they were already able to see them. But I was like, you know what, fine, I'll play this fucking game. So... I sent another I sent another attachment to them. I sent these already, but I shouldn't expect your website to work as intended. I sent the photos again just to be just to be courteous, you know. And of course, the website for some fucking reason or the support fucking service or some shit, some shit fucking happened to where they just weren't receiving my photos and I mean even if and a part of me just wants to believe that they did receive my photos and they were just s telling me to fuck off. Uh, so they say, dear customer, sorry we did not receive your photo. Our ticket system is updating. Could you please send your issue to support email? Blah blah blah. Uh, apologize for the inconvenience. And at this point, at this point, I was just so fucking furious that I just said fuck it. And like, I haven't uh, responded to them since, or I'm not, and I'm not planning on responding to them because they are really just a, a shitty fucking business. You know, like first. I wait a whole month. After waiting a whole month, I put in a support ticket saying, hey, I haven't received my order yet. It's been a month. And they basically just tell me, oh, just wait, bro. Fuck off. That's some bullshit. I, and when I finally receive my order, it's fucking defective. And it doesn't have the buttons in. And and then uh, after sending in the photos, apparently, like, their shit just doesn't update properly. So then they tell me, please send a photo to confirm. Like, I, as if I'm fucking lying to them. Like, fuck y'all. You know, as a matter of fact, I even have a video right here that I recorded on my phone that I'll show you right now. Where's the buttons, huh? Look at this shit.
Two fucking Pfizer's? You see that? They have little holes where you put buttons in. Uh, these buttons, the, the buttons that are shown here, are supposed to go on the side. Where the fuck are the buttons, huh? Where's the button? Where's the buttons? Why do I have these? Why do I have button holes without any fucking buttons? You shitting me? So, I just want to wrap this all up by saying, um, do not purchase anything from Beautiful Halo. Beautiful Halo is a fucking garbage company that uses shitty business practice practices to steal money from consumers like you and me. Beautiful Halo is fucking trash. They're sloppy, their shit's overpriced, and they overall really don't give a fuck about you or your customer satisfaction. Beautiful Halo, if you, or people who run Beautiful Halo, or anyone who works for Beautiful Halo, if you somehow ever watch this video, I want to tell you personally, go fuck yourself. This shit's fucking ridiculous. Uh, customers shouldn't have to put up with this bullshit. Alright? Thank you everybody for watching. I'm Major Multi-Chang Master Disguise, and I'll see you later.